Hello, this is Lady Boulay, and thank you for clicking on the video. I just wanted to come back and share the news, if you haven't heard, that Joe Bryant, Kobe Bryant's father, passed away today at the age of 69. This is four years after Kobe died, and the cause of death is given as a massive stroke. Joe Jellybean Bryant, father of Kobe Bryant, has died at 69. And this is from CNN. Joe Bryant, the father of the late NBA great Kobe Bryant, and a former pro basketball player himself, has died, according to LaSalle University's athletic department. According to the Philadelphia Inquirer, signing LaSalle men's head basketball coach, Fran Dunphy, Bryant recently suffered a stroke. LaSalle told CNN that Bryant died Monday morning but could not confirm the cause of death. Bryant, who had the nickname Jellybean, was from Philadelphia and played for LaSalle from 1973 to 1975. Drafted by the Golden State Warriors as the 14th overall pick in the 1975 NBA Draft, he was with the Philadelphia 76ers for four seasons, the then San Diego Clippers for three seasons, and the Houston Rockets for one season. He also played professional basketball in Europe, notably Italy. He was a member of LaSalle's coaching staff from 1993 to 1996. He was a beloved member of the Explorer family and will be dearly missed, a post on the LaSalle Men's Basketball X account said. A post from the 76ers called Bryant a local basketball icon whose legacy on the court transcended his journey across Barnum High School, LaSalle University, and his first four NBA seasons with the 76ers. Our condolences go out to the Bryant family, the 76ers added. Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna Bryant killed in a helicopter crash in January 2020. He was 41. My heart really goes out to this family, this mother and these two sisters. The first tragedy really that they suffered when they were rejected by their only son. And people can talk about, oh, he can live his life and do what he wants to, all they want to. He disrespected his family. And, you know, I would just have to wonder, was it worth it to go with somebody that's a stranger, really, a strange woman that he didn't really know anything about, married her, and dedicated his life and his wealth to her, and left his parents really needy in some instances. I'm sure uh, Jellybean Bryant was in the retirement system, the NBA retirement system, so I'm sure they weren't begging, but it was the principle of it. And... And then he died tragically after making a poor decision as far as I'm concerned. And then he died tragically. They didn't even let him have a part of the people who planned his the people who planned his funeral wouldn't even let his parents have a part in the funeral. They didn't even get to say anything. Really weren't even acknowledged by anybody, but I think it was Shaq who acknowledged them. So lo they lost their son twice, and then they lost the wealth that should have gone to that family, or at least part of it. So that's how I feel about it. So this mother and these sisters have really been through something, and you can't help but assume that the heartbreak this father felt has been with him since Kobe died. Because by all indication, before he got involved with this Vanessa woman, they were a close and loving family. And to let another person who is a stranger come between you and your family like that, that is really tragic. And it's really unfortunate. And it's not even fair. It's not fair to those parents who put so much into making him 
who he was. God gave him the talent, but his parents gave him the nurturing and the guidance to get him where he was. So it appears to me that Kobe Bryant was a very selfish individual who did not appreciate what he had in his parents. But now his father has gone into eternal life. Maybe they have reunited. Mr. Bryant is now in the arms of the Almighty God who heals the brokenhearted and wipes away all tears. So rest in peace, Mr. Bryant. All right, y'all. Thank you for listening.